Hello everyone, welcome to your fourth Framework 7 tutorial. In the last tutorial, we installed PhoneGap for desktop, and in this tutorial, we'll be seeing how to use it. Then, um, but before then, I want to show you something. Just go to PhoneGap.com and then get started. Because Framework 7 will be making use of the, some of the, the APIs of PhoneGap. And uh, when you just visit the, the PhoneGap website, um, you can click on Get Started to see how to set up this. And I've already shown you the PhoneGap desktop. This teaches how to set it up, but then there is something else you just have to pick from the website. That is how to test your app on mobile, which is basically go to the App Store, download uh, the PhoneGap app, the PhoneGap desktop. There is an app for it. You download it on your phone, and when you download, you connect your phone to your system, and um, and when you run your when you start the server on your PhoneGap desktop and run it, it will the app your app will show up on your phone. So that's that's the way to test your app on your phone um, with PhoneGap. All right, then um, the next thing I want to show you about the PhoneGap is the Docs section. There is a reason I'm showing you because in Framework Seven, um, okay, okay. So here here is it in the in the PhoneGap Docs page. Um, this is the page we just left, and. Uh, here is uh, an explanation of how to mix PhoneGap with your native Java. Um, if you're coding, if you're used to coding um, Java with uh, coding Android apps with raw Java and uh, in Android Studio and stuff, this is a way to build um, hybrid apps. And then there is something else um, I want to show you. This is the PhoneGap desktop we just downloaded. And um, so we're here. Just click on the plugin APIs. This is a very important. The most important part of it when you click on it it shows up this page okay and uh, this is where we are plugin APIs this page everything you want to do on an Android phone has uh, has been converted to JavaScript for you that is the meaning of this API so for instance if you wanted to check if you wanted to power the camera I'll open this and uh, what if you wanted to pull up the contacts of um, a phone um, what if you wanted to you do a file transfer. What if you wanted to do geolocation? Everything you wanted, you want to do in your app is just a basic combination of all these guys. So um, what these guys are just showing is this is the the camera API. So when you when you scroll down, you see how how it's been done. Uh, this is the tutorial of how to do it. This is JavaScript. Uh, how to manage your camera. And this is how to um, install the plugin using command line. And um, this is the tutorial we're seeing. Okay, so if we wanted to handle a, a camera, this is where we'll get the codes. As you can see, example code of, of how to um, clean up your camera and um, on success functions. So if you want to do an app that has to do with camera and stuff, you use Framework 7 to design the interface. But here is the main API that, you, that will actually power on your, your phone camera. The explanations, as you can see, is very detailed. Basically, basically, all you need is just a few lines from this. But this is very detailed. Everything you want to do has been has been taken care of. And it's, it's all in JavaScript. All right, as you can see, um, if you go back to the, the plugins API page, you can see a whole lot of other stuff. So it's, it's a very interesting resource to use. And uh, this is for geolocation. And um, these are the tutorials for geolocation. This is how to uh, add it to your your app using command line, for instance. If you don't use command line, uh, phone gap, when you upload the phone gap, it will automatically add it for you. So the geolocation API doesn't even need to be in your phone, in your app. It mustn't be in your app. Once you upload to 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 the phone app and you want to convert it to an Android, it will add it automatically. And um, as you can see, this is, a, this is a tutorial on how to get the longitude, latitude, and stuff like that of the person using the phone. So if you want to find out the location of the guy using the phone, um, this is the actual code that does the finding out. The rest of the things we'll be doing in Framework 7 will basically the interface, the slides, the touches, and stuff. So I hope now you understand the place of Framework 7 and uh, and uh, the place of, of PhoneGap. Or right, PhoneGap is just basically JavaScript that will help you to do stuff inside your Framework 7 or Ratchet or whatever. 
whatever framework you're using to, to build your interface, you will end up with um, Cordoba or phone, or phone gap for your API. Now that being sorted out, let's just um, quickly start a new app with our phone gap desktop. So what do we call our new app? Uh, remember I taught you this before. So we'll go to our famous desktop and um, this PC desktop and uh, we'll create. I want Okay, let's just quickly create a folder in our desktop. This is my desktop. I'll just create this folder and call it. Um, what do we call a uh, 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 sample app? Sample, sample seven, sample app seven, or whatever you want to call yours. Um, this just came to my mind now. So we'll just find it here uh, in our desktop, and we can say, hey, in our desktop, inside desktop, there is a folder called sample app 7 and that's where we want the sample app to say it or call it sample the name of the app is sample app 7 uh, we can just say com dot sample app 7 dot um, um, sample or whatever so we click create so guess what will happen when we click create Selected folder doesn't contain a config.xml file. I hope you saw that error. There is a phone gap is always expecting you to have a special file. You have to allow phone gap to use your network. Um, allow, don't don't forget, don't fail to allow it. And um, well, as you can see, phone gap created two folders. We we'll basically copy what, what's inside here and um, cut. I've cut it, then I'll paste it one level higher. I don't want to be navigating to levels deep. Okay, that, that being settled, I'll just delete this one. Okay, uh, no. What's happening? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. Wow. Okay. We cut, cut, and paste. Paste, paste, paste. Because the folder file is open in another program. All right. I'll so what I phone app already started it. So what I'll do is quickly. Um, I'll co copy instead of cut. I'll copy. Um, come back to this place and paste. And when the paste is done, I will. I will have to off, put off phone gap, and then restart it again. So I'll just close it and um, see if I can now delete. Okay. Yeah. So this this is what what we wanted. So I'll just refresh this. You didn't, you didn't have to do this, go through all this whole process because um, we made a mistake creating an extra phone, uh, framework 7 folder. Alright, we, we just had to create an extra folder. That was why it was double, but now it has been sorted out. So um, this is basic folder structure, but this is what you need, the guy here. So in um, this is what you need and this is a sample. Um, HTML first page, but then this is the configuration file. This is where you you set all your configurations and and stuff like that. It's an XML, file, but this is what we'll be needing. Then we we'll have to go and hijack our framework seven dist folder and actually replace some of these guys with it. All right, so we will match the the CSS folder, we'll match the JS folder from our framework seven. Alright, so let's go and get our framework 7. Remember we created a framework 7 folder in the beginning. We'll go and hijack it and use it to replace this. But before then, let's see. Um, we have... Oops. Okay. Um, okay, that little mistake we make the other time. Make sure that PhoneGap didn't recognize this our new folder. But there's a way to do it. You just click on this create new Funga project then add existing. So we we'll navigate to our desktop and find uh, uh, save um, in our desktop. We'll find 
sample 7. This is what we're looking for and click OK. So um, this is how it should be. If, if PhoneGap recognizes your, your project, you will see it here. So if you want to run, I want to show you something. At the bottom of the screen, it says server is running and it's, it's green. It means that, hey, if we, we can actually check here. Um, so it means that if we visit this URL, uh, we will see our app running. So I'll, I'll, if you right click, it will, it will not show up any right click. So you use Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy. So I'll copy this URL, otherwise you can just type it out manually. Go to your browser, any of your browsers. Just go to any of your browsers and um, paste the URL. Um, look at it here, 192, this, that, and then hit enter. Then it shows our app running. Uh, okay, it, this is our app and we've not created anything in it. So that, that's, that's it. Uh, otherwise, you can, if you build multiple apps, you see this guy again and you see different, different apps lined up here. If you want to stop the server, you can stop it here. If you want to start it, you can start it here. So, so that's how to use this interface. The next, uh, our next assignment is to never use this option. Okay. Our next assignment is to hijack our framework seven folder and mix it up with the phone gap folder so we can really start the development. So thank you very much in this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.